Welcome to Tuscaloosa, Alabama, where legends are made and titles are won. Bryant Denny Stadium, home of the Alabama Crimson Tide. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers, taking on the sixth ranked team in the land, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Alabama about to kick off to get this game underway. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. So the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers offense is on the field for the first time today. And here he comes, a man who epitomizes the phrase, the tight end's always open, David. And yes, he is, Reese, and it's so cool. The tight end position now has evolved so... Wasting no time taking a shot. And that one falls incomplete. They tried to go over the top on first down. Second down coming up. There's a lot of QBs that when they get hit and when they get hurried and when they get pressured, they become very average. Really nice job by the defense pressuring the quarterback. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Find space on the right. They stay aggressive and push their way out to the 33, and it's first down. Well, there's a great example of the receiver working back to his quarterback on the curl route against man coverage. He drives back towards the football, makes the catch, and gets the first down. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. A stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw, using the quick game. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. You run crisp routes. You can throw it short. You can throw it long, but they're just big-time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's brought down at the 41-yard line. It's a pickup of five and enough for a first down. And that's back-to-back -back now. We've seen this running back get it done on their opening drive of the game. That last carry got the first down. So if I'm the offensive coordinator right now, I love the way my O-line's playing, and I love the way this guy's toting the rock. I'm going to give it to him again. He'll come out throwing on first down. Complete to the right. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Well, we knew this offense wanted to be aggressive in this game plan, and they're doing it right away in the first series, taking a shot down the field. They got the look they wanted, and what a great throw by the quarterback. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, toppers. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. On 
on to attempt the try. And the PAT makes it 7-0. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is 5. Finds just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. So Alabama's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. The offense making a statement early in this game. They're going to open the entire playbook, and they're going to show this defense so many different looks and try to keep them on their heels. I love that play call. You can see the defense wasn't sure what was going on. Running back goes in motion. Wants to throw. It's Milrow. Dumps it off in the flats. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. To the ground to try to pick up the first. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. This is an interesting decision now for the head coach. You're trailing very early in the game. There's a lot of football left. But you're in a situation where you could go for it here and try and answer after your defense gave up that touchdown on the opening drive. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the move, it's Hutchinson. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. With the catch, it's Smith. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Hey, man, if you're going to make plays like that on slant throws, you got to be able to make catches in traffic. Good, strong hands by the wide out there on the slant. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30th, third and short. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. He just needed a yard on third down, and there just wasn't any room to pick it up. And it's not a decision time. You're going for this. You're near midfield. Sometimes those punts will go in the back of the end zone. You're going to net like 25, 30 yards at the most. No, no, no. Get the big boy pads on. Strap the extra mouthpiece. Let's go get the first down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch called for and made. Here comes that Alabama offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. Right back to the well. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. And as an offense, having success on a run play like that early in the game just opens up all the possibilities of your playbook moving forward. Play action, running the ball, throwing the ball, screens, anything is at your disposal at this point. offense as they get it to the 32. And you've you got to lock in on your keys. When they run this kind of offense and they do the replays, 
somebody has to account for the quarterback and they forgot who that was and he made them pay with a big play Alabama pushing the tempo quickly complete and he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play yeah, and he runs a quick out route. And this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Second down coming up. Looking to throw, it's Milrow. And that one's incomplete. Yeah, and you see those balls in practice sometimes. They're just off the mark. And you, don't, you don't know how to control it. You don't know what goes wrong. But sometimes QBs miss, and it's an incompletion. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? They'll try to run for it. He'll be stopped short. Picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And they'll have to settle for a field goal try. Let's see uprights. Good. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. From a couple of yards deep, he'll bring it out. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Hand off from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and force a tackle for a loss. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Not much there. They'll give him one to the 14. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. And they can't make the connection. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that. You can show your exotic looks. You can get the pass rush going. Everybody on the back end expecting throw. And that's how you force incompletions and force fourth down. The Hilltoppers will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. On the run, it's Haynes. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter. Western Kentucky is on top. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. of time left and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period tried to pound it on first down now back to the line pocket starts to collapse and he can't escape and down he goes oftentimes with play action you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer against this athletic front seven on defense it's going to be tough I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. 
on third and long. A check down would be the last resort. He's got it inside the 30. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Man, that's a play this kid has been running ever since he was seven years old at the park with his best friend, throwing them go routes right down the field. I'm running by a guy. I'm looking back, locating the football, making the catch. And he does it in a big moment here in this game. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point puts him up by a field goal. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 66 yards to the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Here comes the offense on second down. It's a reverse. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. You know, as an offense, oftentimes you try the reverse play because you're trying to take advantage of a defense over pursuing and by a lot of defensive team speed. Didn't work right there. Great discipline by this defense. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They'll run the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit them for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. And the Hilltoppers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And off from the shotgun. He picks up maybe a couple before he stopped right at the 30-yard line. And sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn. And they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Well, this offense will screen you in a variety of ways. They'll throw receiver screens, tight end screens. The running back screen also a big part of what they like to do like you just saw there. After the short completion, do they go for the big one on third down? From the gun, wants to pass got his man downfield they've got it to the 49 yard line and they'll move the chains well look that wasn't a touchdown but that was a massive play for this offense they needed some momentum they needed to find a rhythm and what better way than converting on third down awesome job by the quarterback getting through his position he'll pull it on the read and a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. And this option attack can lull you to sleep sometimes. I mean, just so many things they can do off of it, and you just got to play responsibility, responsibility, and you got to get them on the ground and make tackles. And that was a good job limiting the damage on that play with a nice tackle. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. He's got it on the right. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10.
give to the running back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Caught behind the line. It's Young. They get him down after he makes the catch. And listen, I know that wasn't a huge gain. It was positive, but I like doing more of that in today's college football. I'm just going to try to give my playmakers a chance to do damage in space away from all the big boys inside. Do they have another third down conversion in the bag? Already two for two on this drive. It's third and two. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first down. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. Comes out throwing on first down. Getting some heat. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. He's looking for a man on second down. Finds his big tight end. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Look, as an offense, we're always going to take completions over incompletions and interceptions. So the offense, they're able to make that third down a little bit more manageable, but honestly, not that much. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They're bringing heat. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Third and long, and the defense dialed up. Heat, heat, and more heat. And I love that. I love being aggressive on third and long. I want the ball out of the quarterback's hands. I want to I want to find a way to play man coverage on the outside. I, I want to make it very uncomfortable for you. I don't want to give you time, and the defense did just that. The Hilltoppers line up to punt it away. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. They'll try the run. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. They'll line up for a second down play. To the air, it's Milrow. Looking for his man. He's got an open man. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Well, the offense able to pick up some extra yards after that curl throw there. And because the QB got it to his guy early, he was able to turn around, make a guy miss, and go pick up some yak. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. He's looking to throw it. Quick completion on the out. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. This offense is clicking, everything working together really well. Coordinator, quarterback, offensive line. Good rhythm, good flow. Defense is going to have to find something to kind of mess up this timing they got going on. The Tide with the first and ten. He wants to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Haynes. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. 
Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing them open. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and media. Trying to get rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Back to the air one more time. Got it in the middle. It's Prentice. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. This defense has got to be better in coverage. You want to get off the field? You got to keep defending. You got to do something to make the offense feel uncomfortable. So far, way too easy for this offense. All the way down at the 33 yard line, it's first and 10. Looking downfield, it's Milrow. Got him downfield. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Great job by the offense. Listen, if the defense is going to sit back in zone, you know what you got to do. Run those crossers across the formation. Those guys that are looking at the quarterback, they're not trying to pick up receivers all the time. Make those precise throws right in those holes. Get those first downs. Get those big chunks. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Down to the 16-yard line. It's first and 10. He's going to pass. Quick strike complete. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw on second down. Grab behind the line. It's Haynes. They didn't get a ton of yardage there, but they're really effective at using the back out of the backfield, and they do it to get the first down here. Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Alabama. The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense spreading them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside the 10, here he comes. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Just enough time for one final play of the half. Looking to go up top on first down. He'll off one deep down the left side. Incomplete. They took a shot to wrap up the half and came up empty. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A spirited environment there in Tuscaloosa. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. And with that, let's send it back to the guys in T-Town.
and the Hilltoppers will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The tied offense rolls onto the field. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football with him. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Using his legs, it's Haynes. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Yeah, it's really frustrating when you get a guy in his spot. He's in the hole, he's there to do his job. And you can't get the guy on the ground. That's your job. Get him on the ground. You know, especially a guy that's not a huge back. You gotta make that tackle. You can't make it easy on the offense, but now they got a manageable situation. Back to throw, it's Milrow. Tight end finds a soft spot. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered, an explosive play to the 40. Every good quarterback is first a game manager. At Alabama, that used to be sort of a, a label of derision, but now they're not only that, they're playmakers. Yeah, and it's what they used to ask them to do. Like, like they were very comfortable handing the ball off, running the ball, controlling the clock. You know, trying to keep your defense fresh? Nah, bro. If you can't score points now, if you can't get first downs and go get me touchdowns, you're not going to be on the field. Love the physicality of this secondary on defense. That defender got to the football, was able to separate the receiver from the ball, and did it legally. Beautiful job. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. From the gun, running back on the move. Oh, he gave him a dead leg. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. This is going to be a big key for him, David, with the lead here in the second half, running the football, right? Staying on the field and bleeding the clock. Yeah, run the football. You're ahead. You can be a little bit more conservative. But again, this opens up the pass. This keeps everything in balance for this offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Quickly out to the tight end. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. Alabama trying to cash in on this red zone trip. On second down, they'll take to the air. Catch in the middle, it's Prentice. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Gets it out quickly. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. 
Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down in the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on board. Fires the pass, intercepted. The sudden change on the turnover, and Manny was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and die. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smart. Here comes that Alabama offense. They'll start this drive with a pass. Fires to the middle. A strike downfield. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. Great spot to attack there right off the turnover. Try to strike and keep them reeling. Absolutely. Coaching 101, sudden change. When you create a turnover and you get the ball back on offense, attack, attack, attack. Use the momentum. Try to make a big play. Direct snap. Touchdown time! And the stomping has commenced. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese, and you've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. And the offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Fielded in the end zone, it's Young. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24. But if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency has got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David. They've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops. But at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. They, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. They'll go to the ground. Drag down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. you got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. Off play action on first down. Quickly complete. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Listen, running backs are not just running backs anymore. You're going to be a wide receiver in today's football. And a great job sneaking out of the backfield, getting the football, letting them get some positive yards. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Takes the handoff. It's Young. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Fires to the right. Got his man. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go.
and the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. He lobs one high down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. They'll spread the defense out, going five wide on second and ten. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Quarterback empties his backfield. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. It's on target and complete. And they gave him no chance to get loose and they force a fourth down. Hey, really nice job on defense too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there, but we're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us, and we're tackling the catch. Awesome job, and now you've set up fourth down. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. They're trying to get to it. And they got him. A sack denies the try to convert on fourth down. That's a tough place to be if you're the quarterback, too. On fourth down, the defense dials up the blitz, and you just feel the pocket constricting around you. It's like a black hole. There's just nothing you can do. It's hard to see receivers downfield. It's hard to step up, and on that play, you're helpless, and you know that you're, you're losing possession. You're coming off the field. Offense getting set for first down. They'll run it from the gun. At the 40, there he goes. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Man, sometimes it just gets frustrating. And you've just been beat down all day. This defense hasn't had answers. But now you can't let them run the football and just run it down your throat and be physical. This defense has to do something different and find a way to make something happen. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Really, really nice football play. Man, I got to understand option football. I got to play my responsibility, make sure that I know what I'm doing. And look at the linebacker. Great job doing that. Staying patient, getting to the quarterback, making the big tackle. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Milrow. Quickly to the tight end. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. It's so important that this offense is able to stay on schedule. What that means is keeping third downs manageable. That last completion to the tight end accomplished just that. Really nice play call. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Makes the grab. It's Haynes. And they knock him down, but he got past the line of the game. And the defense brought the blitz on third down, trying to see if they could rattle the quarterback. But how about the poise? He knew where his answer was. He didn't panic or freak out. He just went through his progressions, picked up the first, and we got a fresh set of downs. As they get set to snap at time, winding down here in the quarter. On the ground, it's Haynes. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And they'll get off one more play before the end of the quarter. He's going to pass on second down. Finds his man. It's Prentice. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. 
Touchdown, Crimson Tide! And the punishment has been extended. Salt enter wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and give me another touchdown. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. They marched the ball 51 yards for the score. And they finish things off with an 8-yard toss for the score. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. They've got it back after that last drive stalled out, and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Yeah, and they put a little bit of a drive together, but, Jesse, they stalled on the other side of the field, and they got to find a way to keep that momentum going as they get closer to the end zone. I agree. I, I do like their mindset, though, and I think they need to continue being aggressive moving forward in this game. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got the quick pass. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. You know, as a defensive guy, you use the sideline as your 12th man. You push the receiver out that direction. Look at the wide right receiver. Still doing a great job of getting small and getting that foot in bounds, making the play and catching the ball. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. It's complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. He'll just keep slinging it. Just too much of a rush, and down goes the quarterback just behind the midfield stripe at the 49. And how about the complimentary football? This defense getting another sack. They've already got an interception. Offense has played great. Both sides of the football together dominating this football game. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. He's looking to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. He's not afraid to go deep. Grabs it inside the 15. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, WKU. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Getting set for the point after. Right down the boulevard. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished the drive with a touchdown toss from the 49. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The tied offense rolls onto the field. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller, too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. From the gun, the ground game. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Fires to the wideout. Snagged in the middle, it's Prentice. Love to see these third down conversions on offense and they're out to their own 39-yard line. He's been so locked in, it seems like any pass called is a guaranteed chunk play. Yeah, and in winning late like this in the ball game, keep trusting him, keep spinning. You know why? Because stats matter late in the game. You want some postseason awards? Keep chucking it, keep getting those stats. Nice move to keep running. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Offense has a huge lead right now in the fourth quarter, and they're just going to run this football to try to ice the game, being more dominant, being more physical at the point of attack. This Alabama offense is clicking. They're set up with another first down. They're getting this guy lathered up. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. You got to give the coaching staff credit because they really do focus all season long on situational football with the lead late in the game. If we're on offense, we're trying to stay in bounds. We're trying to bleed the clock. And after ripping off a really nice run, that guy knew I've got to get down. I cannot get pushed out of bounds, cannot get tackled out of bounds. Really, really nice job. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Motion from the offense. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the linebacker's showing you read and react. He knew exactly where that running play was going, and he beat the football to the line of scrimmage and forced the TFL. So they're going to send out the field goal unit to try a long one. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. It is true as he puts three on the board. And now the lead is extended a little far. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Western Kentucky offense back onto the field. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Fires a ball. Now it's picked off. He'll try to take it back. And with the interception, he'll take it all the way back. Touchdown, Alabama! This, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead.
They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The Hilltopper offense comes onto the field again. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. And they get him again. This is a offense that you expect them to protect their guy. I mean, he is a dude that you, you know if you give him time, he's going to make plays. But this defense is making sure he's not getting that time. And now they have enhanced their degree of difficulty on second and long from the six. He's looking to throw. Coming after him. That's reeled in. It's Young. He was running through tackles and picked up the first down and finally got knocked down. And that's why if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. He's looking to throw it right down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure it to first down. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. The Hilltoppers will snap it on first and 10. He wants to throw. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. They were ready, they were fast, they were physical. They dominated this football game today. They want to just keep throwing it. Wide open downfield. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game is that your players don't quit, and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do love the grit they're showing here late, still trying to make plays. Trying to find his man on first down. Oh, and he just dropped it so close to his second interception of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. The defense puts the exclamation point on the day. They have had a wonderful day, man. Doing everything great. Just, you could tell they were dialed into what was going on. And now just throw another sack in the equation. Hitting the quarterback, being disrupted. They've been all over the field. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out.
So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes that Alabama offense. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they tried to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop. 